Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we're looking at one of the seven Trappist beers. This one's from Trappist Rochefort. This is their Rochefort 8, 9.2% alcohol by volume. It's considered a Belgian strong ale, basically not a quad, not a triple. It's, a, it's the smaller version of their Rochefort 10, which is one of my favorite beers, actually. Um, this one is pretty widely available. If you can get the other Trappist stuff, you're probably going to be able to get this one. And this one is one you guys constantly recommend that I review it's one that I've never actually had so really looking forward to it let me get into a glass so you guys know it smells tastes and give you the final verdict on the Rochefort 8 all right, guys, so the appearance on the Rochefort 8, well, it's a, a dark, murky brown. I mean, it looks like muddy water. There wasn't much of a head of on this one, which I was kind of surprised by. It is a bottle-conditioned beer. I was expecting a bigger head, but the head that was there was maybe a half a finger of an off-white, very, very slightly khaki head, very tiny bubbles, dissipating pretty quickly, streaming off the glass like champagne. is a very highly carbonated beer. Um, definitely getting a lot of lacing on this one. Very cool. Lots of alcohol legs on this one as well, but almost... 10%, I would expect that. Yeah, just a classic looking, you know, Trappist strong ale. All right, guys, the aroma on the Rochefort 8. Wow, that's really interesting. You kind of get the best of a triple and the best of a quad. You're getting fruity, really super effervescent notes on there. Nice kind of punch. But you're also getting cherries, plums, raisins, a sweet kind of uh, caramely, sugary sweetness in there that you would get in a quad. Yeah, definitely a fruity, effervescent, but really kind of a, a big aromatic beer. Just really, really cool, interesting smelling beer. All right, guys, the taste on the Roche Ford 8. Cheers. Wow, yeah, right at the front of the tongue, there's a huge pop of carbonation. I mean, you're talking champagne carbonation levels on this one. Immediately followed by a kind of a dry, fruity effervescence like you get in the aroma. Middle of the mouth, you get more of that cherry, more of a fig, more of a raisin kind of quad character to it. Nice bready sweetness starts to kind of coat the mouth and that carbonation immediately like wipes it away like it would in a triple. Super dry finish on this one. Well, it's a dry finish. The aftertaste is more of kind of a, a sugary, kind of caramely, plum, raisin, you know, sweet bread kind of flavor. Just immediately, again, taken away by that carbonation. It kind of comes in ebbs and waves. You know, it's really, really cool. I'm getting a lot of triple characteristics as far as the dryness, sweet fruitiness, but at the same time, the middle of the mouth, it tastes more like a quad with the big kind of dark fruits, sugary, plum kind of flavors in there. And at almost at 9.2%, you actually don't taste that alcohol at all. I'm getting a little bit of warming, but it's just a really, really interesting beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Rochefort 8, 9.2% alcohol by volume available year-round. Guys, I'm going to give this one an A. For me, this isn't Rochefort 10. That one is just at the top of its game. But this one is really, really interesting. It kind of takes the best of a triple and the best of a quad and really does, you know, it's best to kind of combine those two. You definitely get elements from each of those styles. You're getting a fruity effervescence. You're getting the big kind of sugary plum sweetness from a quad. They put them together and they do kind of battle each other a little bit in the actual flavors, but in the best way humanly possible. This is a beer that you do want to let warm up to the appropriate temperature around 50 degrees or so. Drink it out of the right glassware as well, a nice goblet to kind of get all those flavors and aromatics when you're drinking it. One of the most interesting Trappist ales I've ever had, and if it's not one you've had, like myself definitely check it out i'm very very surprised very very surprised so with that said getting an a just a really really interesting take on a trappa style beer so with that said folks remember life's too short drink amazing beers cheers